Yes, yes, hello everyone, welcome back into this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can read text message on your computer. If you want to read SMS on your computer while they are sent on your mobile phone, here is a, a trick that you can use. What you're gonna do, I will be showing you every step and I will be showing you how I'm using every step and so show you how you can be able to read all those messages on your computer. Without wasting time, let's get started. <laughs> As you can see, this is my computer. However, if you look at this my, on my task lab, there's an application which is called AirDrop. If I type AirDrop, so this is the application. And also you can see that I have my phone here. This is the name of my phone. If you see that I'm scrolling down this phone, you can see the phone is scrolling. Let me try also clicking here and extend. If you can see, I have this one, I can be extending this one, and also after extending this one, and try to close this one, you can see, I'm remaining with my phone only. If you try to check here, you can see that, this is a screen mirroring, that is um, the one I'm using. Which means, I'm trying to see, uh, to, see, to take the screen of my phone, I can be able to see everything I'm doing in my phone there, on my computer. My phone is on the other side, but I'm, I'm doing everything in my phone and it is displaying on my screen. What you have to do, you have to go into your phone, Play Store or Apple Store if you are using uh, iPhone. After going into the Apple Store, you have to download this one. You search for Android. After searching Android, you are going to see this Android coming into the uh, phone. You can see mine is already installed. So what I have to do, as you can see, my mine is already installed. I have to click on open. After clicking on open, you can see it's going to be opening. What you need to have, you need to have also an account. That account is going to be helping you to connect both your computer and your Android phone. That means if you are logged out into uh, one device, from one device, so you are not able to access the data. For instance, if you are logged out from the computer's AirDroid, if you are logged out from the, your phone AirDroid application, you are not able to access these details. However, as you can see, I have connected the one device. If you can see on my phone, there is only one device, which is my, my laptop I'm using now. So if I want to add another device, I can also add another laptop. For instance, if I click Add, you can see, install AirDroid 2 in that device. In the other device I want to be adding, you have to install that uh, to install this AirDroid application, then seeing the same AirDroid account on the device. Go back to my devices on this device and then put Refresh. So connection is very simple. What you need to do, you need to download this application I showed you in, in this Play Store or App Store if you are using iPhone. Also, after downloading it, you have to come into your laptop as well and download AirDroid for desktop. After downloading AirDroid for desktop, you can see this is the one. You have to click on this and download it. You can download it here, or you can go to the official platform and download AirDroid for desktop, which is this one. After downloading it here, you have to choose which one you want to be connecting with or for computer, you can see, it is already immediately downloading, you have to install it. It is very simple, after installing it on your computer, you have to create an account. That account I have already created, you have to log in into both devices. Those devices include the one you want to be reading the message from, which means the AI or the, that mobile phone, and also the computer. After that, you have also to refresh. You come into your phone and refresh. Once you refresh on your phone, you are going to be starting accessing your data. Let's see now if I can be able to see the messages in my phone. If I come to this Android and I click here, I, I'm going to be opening it all. So you can see, I'm going to be clicking on messages. I can click on calls and see all call history over the computer, which means I can be able to manage my laptop remotely, my phone remotely, sorry. So if I go here to these SMSs or notifications, I can be able to see everything. 
Let me click on notifications or SMSs. If I go on SMSs, you can see I have all SMSs they have sent to my phone. That means I can be able to click a new message and also to be able to send new message. For instance, they are saying who do you want to send to? I can click here and send to someone and say I want to be sending more from my phone. Then after this, I'll click in time and send this in this SMS. You can see they give me all the numbers to select you from, but also you can be able to manage everything here. With this application installed on your phone and your computer, you can be able to do various tasks. Not only reading text messages or SMSs on your phone, but also managing calls, managing, you can see, notifications. You can also see able to screencast your computer. For instance, if I click on this one, you can see this screen mirroring, which is learning its separate window. This is the one they are talking about. Also, you can see if I call this one and go back here, this is the one I'm using. I can also be able to uh, to maximize this one, and so I can be able to, skin, uh, to stop skin sarcastic. Now, let me show you what happens if I log out into my phone. Let me, let me show you what is going to be happening. If you click here and you see these are my contact that I have on my phone, but let me show you what is going to be happening. You can see this is my phone now is screencasting and also this is my account which is logged in. So let me try logging out. I click here and also after doing there I can be able to do it in account. That is the remote. So let me now come here to my account. I can be able to log out here as you can see. If I click on this log out option, I want to be logged out from this phone or from this account which is Android. If I click on log out, you want to see they are bringing me the password to confirm so that I can log out. Let me insert the password and log out. After signing out from the device, you are going to be seeing everything is going to be disconnected. Now the device is unbound. Here you can see if you can see this notification at the bottom right right side, you can see my device has been already disconnected. That means you cannot be able to do anything without logging into account. The same time, they will send me a notification telling me that your device has been disconnected. That means to be able to access all these details, you need to be logged in your one account from the, uh, into both devices. So if it is a computer, you need to be logged into computer and be logged also on the, the mobile phone. That account is going to be working as a connection, also as a way for you to manage the information which are on that device. You can be able to read the text message as you have seen, and also you can be able to send the text message. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question or suggestion, remember to leave it in the comment section. Remember to like this video, share it with your friends, also turn the notification bell button so as you always get to find when you upload a new video here at No Max TV. Remember to subscribe as well. Thank you for watching this video.